Hi guys, uh, I know I haven't been around for a little while, um, yeah a few things going on but uh, there will be um, a video and that put out later about what's going on. Right, why am I here today? Um, I followed an incident on D-Day but um, due to the fact it was D-Day and due to the, the the having the respect for the guys who had fallen and never come back and for the guys uh, for their day I went on social media in the morning and the whole of social media was plastered with D-Day so um, GB News was in contact with me at half past six in the morning asking me that if any information or any boats come over and if I've got any details and that could I send it to them so I made the decision on the day not to post anything but yesterday or the day before um, I was looking through the internet and I found a, um, a good old Kent Online very lefty orientated social media platform who likes to put out a load of quark yeah as we should say about incidents what happened in the channel so um, because I've been following this from half past six in the morning I was watching the um, the channel all the way up to one o'clock in the afternoon and uh, I just want to show you the two different sides of the story yeah on how GB News put it out how um, Kent Online put it out and then I will tell you my version of events yeah because GB News did miss out on a few bits, which I think are very important. And um, I'll say it the way I think it should be said. Yeah, without swearing, of course. Yeah. So um, let's have a look on how GB News put out the incident, what happened on D-Day at 8 o'clock in the morning. Welcome back to the show. Now, a curious incident happened in the Channel earlier this morning. Around 80 migrants were rescued from the English Channel after a small boat got into trouble in the early hours of this morning. I want to talk you through about what happened. We've got some exclusive footage here to show you. That on your screens there shows a French vessel called the Abiel Normandie picking up a dinghy only two to three miles from the French coast. It then escorts the dinghy towards British waters. That's that purple line. And it circulates for around about three three hours. Now, no French rescue boats were in the water there, and no British boats had been deployed. Now, at some point here, this vessel got into trouble. There was a May Day issued around about 7.40. You can now see British boats deployed. Five British rescue craft and a search and rescue helicopter were deployed because the May Day said that 60 people from that dinghy were now in the water. We don't know why. The the vessel may have popped or deflated. They may have jumped overboard. The fact of the matter is, here they are now come ashore in a vessel called the Taku, a British offshore supply ship. Three hours mid-channel, no help from the French, ferried back to Britain. Here you can see them being brought ashore on D-Day, the 80th anniversary of D-Day. Around 250 men arrived to Britain today via this way. 80 years ago, of course, the boats were going in a different direction. 80 years ago, Britain helped to liberate France. Today, today, the French Navy did nothing to stop this. The French Coast Guards did nothing to stop these vessels, these dinghies, getting to the middle of the channel. In fact, they escorted them just two miles from French waters and they kept them in the middle of the channel until there was an incident and then they were brought ashore. My point to you is this, is that the way that we should be repaid by the French 80 years on from liberating France from the tyranny of the Nazis? Just get your thoughts to me on that. That's an exclusive bit of footage there for GB News. Now let's get back more to on the 80th anniversary of back again guys well you just heard the report from GB News yeah and to be quite honest they were actually bang on to near enough what happened yeah um, there's a few points they didn't put in which I'm going to comment on at the end uh, which I think are really important but you, you know what the news channels are like they have a slot and it was D-Day D-Day should have taken 
most of the day anyway out of the um, out the news. So uh, let's go and see what Kent Online has to say about the issue, what happened in the channel at eight o'clock in the morning on D-Day. Right guys, this is from G uh, Kent Online. He says, rescue operation as 84 people spotted in English Channel between Dover and Calais after small boat flips. A major rescue mission was launched in the English Channel this morning as 84, including a six-month-old baby and two other children, ended up in the water. British and French vessels, yeah, with an S, took part in the operation halfway between Calais and Dover. According to reports, of the small boat had been shadowed by the French warship and had crossed the midway point. That means it's in our, our waters, in the channel, when the engine failed. Witnesses said it had turned back before flipping, throwing all 84 on the dinghy into the sea. There's been no reports of fatalities and it is believed more than 250 more people are currently in small boats on the French side of the channel attempting to make the crossing today. A Coast, Bar Coast Guard spokesman said HM Coast Guard is coordinating the response to the small boat incident in the channel this morning. Coast Guard helicopters from Lyd and Leon C, Solon and RNA lifeboats have been sent. Now, when you see what I'm going to show you, why are the Coast Guard, HM Coast Guard, coordinating this situation, which wasn't in English waters? Welcome back, guys. As you can see, a Nor Abelia Normandy, yeah, is not a French warship, which uh, Kent Online stated. And if you have a look here at eight, this is at, let me have a look at the time, you can't see it, at 8.08 in the morning uh, when this incident happened. It was all our own vessels what took part in this. If you see the black line at the top, that is the French side of the water and our side of the water. And as you can see, we're at least two and a half miles, three miles into French waters, but not a French, single French, I'm in a lie. Yeah, in sight as our three RNLI vessels went over to help with this incident. As you can see, the vessel which um, actually escorted, which is Abelia Normandy, is actually moving away from the situation. Yeah, it wasn't helping. Yeah, it moved away and left our boys, yeah, and girls to do all the picking up and um, the rescue, if it was a rescue incident, of the migrants in the water. And I just don't get it. I really just don't get it. Where, where were the RNLI from French waters? Now, if you have a look in here, this is Abelia. This is, this is the route Abelia took earlier. Um, and... As, as the uh, French said, Abelia actually turned back on itself, as you will see it happened here. And then it turns and turns and turns and then goes off to the left. And then, look, this was escorted from half past four this morning. And at eight o'clock, yeah, that is when the issues happened. But why aren't the French getting done for escorting these vessels? This vessel was escorted for at least three and a half to maybe four hours. Yeah. And as you can see again, it's only at our vessels, and this was at 9.24. That's 9.34, only our vessels again. Yeah, this is 9.50, 10, 10 to 10. Still only our vessels. This was at 10 to 11. Yeah, still only British RNLI in French waters when supposedly 84 people, yeah, had fallen overboard from a dinghy. Now, I thought, well, 
wonder where the French are and ally is, yeah? So this is the French are and ally, and as you can see, that is what it's called, and as you can see at 10.54, I thought I'd go looking for this boat to see where it's been, yeah, because since 8 o'clock in the morning, all our vessels have been three miles in French waters, yeah, supposedly rescuing 84 illegal immigrants which were in trouble. So, where was this boat? I'll show you. This boat was in Calais. Yeah, this boat was in Calais. And as you can see from the photograph at the top, 10.54 in the morning, on D-Day, that boat did not come out of Calais. Yeah, and must admit, our, our boats have travelled further than that vessel had to, to the incident, but there was no RNLI from the French side, anyone out that morning, yeah, of D-Day. It was all our vessels. And guess what? Just to top it all off, this is a one minute, one minute to 12, yeah, on the morning of D-Day. And the only vessel left in that location was the RNLI boat from Dover. Yeah, so that boat had been out since 8 o'clock till midday in French waters, yeah, looking for so-called illegal immigrants which had fallen overboard, where no RNLI from the French side or rescue services were there. At all. That's fact, yeah. Don't know why anyone's not put this out. GB News didn't put it out either. Yeah, not too harsh. Yeah, I went looking for everything. I did give them all the information. But why isn't anyone reporting on this? Why isn't anyone talking about this situation? And why weren't there any RNLI and everything? Look, even the Coast Guard was orchestrating this rescue. Yeah, our, our, yeah. Coast Guard were orchestrating it. Not the French. This happened in French waters. What the heck is going on? Yeah, I do not understand what's going on. Well, there you go. Hey, that is GB News version of what happened with what I told them what was happening. Then I showed you what Kent Online put out, right? And the, the crap and ball they put out was totally horrendous in my eyes. But this is what we get from the left, you know what I mean? Everything's getting pushed out by the left, yeah? So people always think, oh, these poor immigrants, yeah? No, yeah? I don't think this is actually instigated by criminal gangs, yeah? I think this is orchestrated and done by the governments due to the fact it's all part of the bigger picture. As I said, I've got a few issues going on at the moment, guys. Um, I've got a mental assessment on the uh, 11th next week um, through because of my PTSD. Um, I'm going to make decisions after that on where I'm going, and I will let everyone know on the situation with my health and uh, the decisions I make. So until then, guys, um, take care. This has been a little veteran just to highlight what's been going on um, in the English Channel from the left, the right, and the so-called middle. Take care, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for joining us.